So we just touched on this uh, a moment ago, which is the importance of valuation in this framework. The whole thing is predicated on valuation. Estimating recoveries depends on the stakeholders' various assessments of what the size of the asset pie is. The valuation that enabled us to impute asset value, though, is not perfect, as we know. Liabilities like trade and bank loans, they're not always liquid. So you don't actually know exactly what the market signal is about the values of these things. Also, equity and debt market pricing may not accurately reflect the prospects of the firm and thus not necessarily correlate to value. So as a result, you see DCF, multiples analysis, as long with liquidation analysis, they're all used together to value firms in distress. Uh, and it certainly just as, in a, as an aside can be a the subject of um, of debate and argument by the various claims and as we're going to see right now depending on who you are you may be incentivized to argue for a higher or a lower valuation so observe in our case how instead of an asset valuation of 452 if we believe that the business is worth 540 and let's say if you believe the business is worth 540, you may be inclined to have a higher tolerance for debt, right? So you may say, hey, you know what, the max debt th threshold shouldn't be 3 340, it should be 380, right? So it was originally 340. Look at what that does to the second lien recoveries. Now all of a sudden, the second lien recoveries, which are a combination of both um, recovery, debt recovery, as well as equity, now has shot up to 65.8%. Uh, the, the on paper recoveries of the accounts payable and the unsecured notes has also um, gone up. They're, they've actually gotten more debt uh, reinstated. And this is because obviously your tolerance for debt is higher. So these guys are getting more paper exchanged and your equity is valued more than it was before because the entire value of the business is worth more than 452. So, so everyone on paper does better, right? The equity is worth more, which is paper value. But then actually in practice, if you're comfortable with it, it providing more uh, debt reinstatement and still feel like you're gonna be solvent, well then uh, you know all the debt exchanges are gonna be a little bit more, uh, you know, are gonna have higher recoveries. So just keep in mind when you're looking at this that the only real change here is that there's more debt. And that creates more risk that the business will not successfully emerge as a going concern. So the creditors may be happy in the short term. The ones that are kind of that full crimp security where they, they stand to lose with a lower valuation. But the business is, in practice now, has more leverage. There's more, there's more debt on the books. Another dynamic that emerges around the valuation uh, of collateral. The second lien might argue that in this case, if the valuation is higher, maybe the collateral value is higher as well. And these are these are real valuation fights that happen in court, certainly. And and as a result, they could spill out into an out of court restructuring. They could say, you know, the collateral is worth, you know, there's no, there's no just like valuation of the enterprise. There is no black and white sort of rule about what the value of collateral is. So they could argue, hey, the inventories, the receivables, the property plan equipment, it's actually worth more than. Uh, then you might argue. So 240, let's say, instead of 200, what does that do? Well, that increases the secured claim of the second liens from 100 to 140, remember the excess over the first liens, which means that a larger chunk of their $400,000 claim gets full recovery and gets priority, which means their recoveries are even higher in that case, this time at the detriment of the accounts payable and the unsecured notes who have to who basically lose out on that peri passu treatment with the second liens. All right, so that's yet another important factor of valuation. You start having valuation experts talk about the collateral value and the various methodologies you need to use in order to value or appraise that collateral. 